Hello everybody, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in part five of our eight part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. And in this session, we're going to play with our video effects. Now video effects are found on the toolbar here on the right. About halfway down, you see the little FX button. Click on that and you'll open the library of video effects. There is a nice library of video effects in Premiere Elements, about 91 of them. A little bit different if you have a Mac. And they're in a variety of categories, 16 different categories. And you can go directly to an effect by selecting a category. Or you can just leave it at Show All and click on the little magnifying glass here in the upper right hand corner and you can type any effect, say for instance crop, and in real time the program will search and find that particular effect for you. Now I'm going to clear that by clicking on the button to the right of where the magnifying glass was. That'll clear that. And now we can look through these. I have this set on show all so we can go through the various categories. You see there are a number of types of effects. There are effects that can be used to correct or adjust color or to adjust your image. There are effects for stylizing your video and color grading it. There are effects for blurring and sharpening, color corrections, and distorting your image also. In other words, we could take our image and we can crop it, or we can actually rotate our video in three-dimensional space within the video frame. There are effects for creating key shots, chroma key, for instance. These are shots in which we would remove a green or blue background and replace it with a different background and create some really cool special effects. The keying effects are very effective for doing that, but so is Video Merge, which is exclusive to Premiere Elements and it's available on both the Macintosh and the Windows platform. There are also close to 300 preset effects. These are effects in which settings have already been applied. Some of these have animation. They're kind of fun and worth exploring also, but let's stick right here with our basic effects for now. If we go to the image control category, we can control the, for instance, color or vibrancy in our picture. So we've got a picture here, this little girl sitting on a porch, and we can apply the black and white effect to that and suddenly she's a black and white picture. Let's control Z or command Z to undo that. Black and white, These. this is one of the few effects that you can't make an adjustment to. So you can see when I applied it and the applied effects panel opened up, there were no adjustment controls here for black and white. It's either on or off. We can keyframe it. We can make it go from black and white to color. That's kind of more advanced, but in terms of basic settings, there's not a lot you can do with black and white. So I'm going to remove it by clicking on the trash can right here, just to the right of the listing in the applied effects panel. We'll try one more effect here. Let's go to transform. And these transform effects can actually affect how the video sits within the video frame. I'm going to drag one here onto our clip. There we go. And as you can see, it rotates her in space. We have a number of controls over here for changing how that effect is applied. So we can actually rotate her or change the angle of the photo by moving these little sliders. You can also drag right across the numbers, just clicking and dragging across the numbers there. The applied effects panel opens automatically when you apply a video effect, but if it's closed, all you need to do is select the clip on the timeline and click on the FX with a little pencil on it here on the right on the toolbar, and that will reopen the applied effects panel. You must have the clip selected though. And using keyframes, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the course, we could actually make this motion happen as an animation and actually have her spinning in space if we'd like. Let me show you one more effect. I'm just going to delete that by clicking on the trash can. We'll go back over here to effects and let's select the crop effect, which is also in transform. Drag that. Now, I just want to show you crop because not only are there controls here on the applied effects panel, but if you select crop, the listing here in Applied Effects, look at what happens. We get little control handles right here on the monitor panel. So I'm making my adjustments by actually dragging on those corner handles. That's a little more intuitive. You can see the adjustments are reflected here on the Applied Effects panel as I make my adjustments. But there's more than one way to make adjustments to an effect. We'll go back to the Effects panel here. And there are audio effects as well as video effects. 
these are a whole different course, but nine very nice audio effects for enhancing your audio as well as your video. Video effects are a lot of fun. It's up to you how intensely you use them. Sometimes some effects are best when they're so subtle people don't even know an effect has been applied. Sometimes they're a lot of fun to be showy also. But a nice library of 91 video and a close to 300 presets for enhancing the video in your movie and uh, either making it look better or making it look absolutely weird. Choice is yours.